Hello, everyone. The Conjoined Sisters are back. I'm Sarah. I'm Cassie. And we are sisters. Today, we are conjoined <laughs> to do some holiday baking. Today, we are making some print cookies. We're using the recipe from... You can't use this hand. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> We're using the recipe from Magnolia Bakery. We're also going to be making snowballs, which I know as pecan puffs, because it uses the same exact dough, which is super easy. And my family really likes pecan puffs, so we're going to be making half thumbprints and then half pecan puffs. First thing to do is combine the pecans and the, and the flour. Okay, but we fine. we did it wrong actually. Oh, because I did, I didn't read the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too. We both didn't read. We're reading them now. Yeah, like like measure out the pecans first okay. using the one cup. We'll put it in there for now. Oh, we don't have our mixing bowls. We need one them, moment. Right? Shuffle out. Shuffle out of frame. And we're back. I literally have to put like my left hand behind my back. So you you know because use it's it? instinctually yeah like I would use it. Mm. And then we have to put flour in it, right? So we did that. Maybe we should read the whole thing first. Yeah, I, I, I read it. Oh, you read it? Okay, I didn't read it. <laughs> you can read it. Stir it in. Oh, and the salt. Yeah. Oh, we don't have the salt. Not the salt. Three fourths teaspoon. Oh, just give me yeah. your hands. Let me just pour into your palm. Okay. Wait, three fourths? Oh, we need way more. Yeah. yeah. Last year we literally same said, thing. same thing. We literally said that we underestimate how much a teaspoon is every single time. Yeah, let's just see if we're right. Eyeballing it. Oh my god, it could be more. Holy shit. <gasps> this is probably only a half. That's a half. Like not like That's less a than half a half. teaspoon. This is a teaspoon, everybody. Yeah. Should we have it on a whisk and not a... Whatever. And a spatula? Yeah, the big one over there. <laughs> That's what was the Flashbacks. Okay, so now we have all the dry ingredients. Now we gotta clean the butter. So we had taken the butter out already. Um, yeah. So it's been sitting out for a couple hours to reach room temperature. Now we gotta add the sugar. Love it. This is Maestro, our stand mixer, which I actually got for Christmas, like years ago. We're using the paddle to cream it? Yeah. Oh, I usually use the whisk. No. Yes, yes. First question. First question, what's the most memorable personal achievement or moment for you in the past year? I think my achievement this year would probably be like a professional accomplishment and it would just be like stepping up to a VP role at work. Mine, I think, obviously would have been graduating um, from, from NYU. You can see our grad caps up here. So I graduated in May with my BFA and two minors. So really happy with being done with school. Even though I feel like I missed out on like some parts of college because of the pandemic. Like at least like I was still able to like grow in certain ways. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and like the last, it, it wasn't you specifically either because the pandemic was obviously global. It was like yeah. a macro event. Yeah. So it's kind of like your whole generation missed out on the same thing. It's not like you individually missed out. Mm -hmm. Discuss a goal you set at the beginning of the year for basically like a New Year's resolution. I remember when we went to San Diego. That was our first trip together, like just us. Um, we did a tablespoon. <laughs> it's supposed to be a teaspoon. No wonder it was so much. Is it going to be too salty? Yeah, maybe. We add like a little bit more sugar. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh my god, I can't believe we like didn't catch that. Okay, let's do the vanilla. We went on the sister trip. That was our first sister trip. And then we did like a little um a little road trip to Palm Springs. We we drove there. Mm -hmm. Or well, I drove there actually. Yeah, so speaking of during the um drive to Palm Springs, we were talking about like our resolutions for 2023. And I remember you said that you wanted to drive into the city more. Yes. Did you ever? No. <laughs> I had also said that I wanted to learn how to parallel park. Oh, yeah. The last time I had parallel park was for the driving test. Which it's been like almost 10 years since I parallel park. And I have. I have. Oh, parallel okay. Park this year. Okay, you hold the spoon and then I'll pour the rest of the vanilla. Or for 2024, I think something that's been more important to me has been traveling, of course. I think like seeing the world is something that I didn't really care about 
before, but now like I have like that itch. We grew up in Jersey. We're so familiar with New York City. I went to school in New York. Obviously, I haven't seen everything in the city, and there's more to do and more to see, yeah. but like I'm a little over it, you know? It's totally valid. So now we reduce the mixer speed to low and slowly add in the pecan flour mixture until combined. I'll bring it closer. You used your hand again! Ah! Wait, when did I use it? You just used it to move the bowl over. <laughs> I thought your little fingers were going to move the sweater. No! Damn it! What? That's so little. I think we should just. Well, I was just gonna do it really quickly. Okay, okay, okay. But you should get a bigger spoon, dude. Oh, okay. You know, you can, you can do <laughs> In 30 seconds, she thought that she would be able to put all of this. Oh, there's nothing there. Oh, it looks so naked. I know, I was like. <laughs> it's enough. Pause it. Is it salty? No. <laughs> Oops. We'll now be we back with parts from paper and the trays. So now we're going to create the thumbprint. Should you scoop and then I can do it with my hand because I'm using my right hand? Okay. We roll it together. What's a hobby or interest you picked up this year that you want to continue exploring in the coming year? For me, it was definitely reading. Yeah, I read a lot. You... My reading goal for this year was 20 books, but I'm actually on my 22nd book now. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I'm reading um, Talking to Strangers. I think this year I read a lot of, like, romance and fiction books. Just kind of, like, you know, lighthearted reads, like, easy reads. I think I want to pick up more serious books. I don't really know how to describe it. Right? More thought-provoking. Educational, mm. too, I guess. Like, more, like... Literature. I think within the last year or year and a half, I've gotten a lot more into, like, cooking. It's something that I, like, really enjoy. But I've always liked cooking. Mm -hmm. But I didn't just, like, I didn't have a chance as much. Yeah. I saw this TikTok of this one creator. I don't, I don't know, like what her name was, but she mentioned that you should really start making a list of things that you really like that um, bring happiness to your life. And one thing she mentioned was things that make you forget to drink or pee. <laughs> Our parents are so amused. <laughs> if your pet could narrate their own year in review, what do you think you would say? To so like our hermit crabs? <laughs> I think it would be family. Because our little hermit crab family grew this year. We had one. We actually had two originally. And then one sadly passed away. R.I.P. Ruby. She's an OG. We were lucky to adopt some crabs from people who were like rehoming there. So we were able to, you know, get three more to our little family. Oh, should we make a pecan puff now? Yeah. I think we have to talk about tiger. Hermit crabs, they they molt to shed their exoskeleton. They'll, what is it called? Burrow. Yeah. Right? Burrow like in the substrate. Yeah, in, the, in the sand or whatever. Yeah. And they'll wait it out in there until their shell like becomes hard again. Both yeah. went under at the same time. If one is ready before the other, then there's a chance for one of them to disturb the one that's still like not ready. Yeah, they're in a really like vulnerable state. Ruby like, like died. She she died, like, right? At the same time? But we didn't know that. Oh, we didn't know that? Yeah. It's it's so hard, guys. <laughs> After we passed away, we still didn't see Tiger. And I I guess we just assumed that he had died too. This was like three, four months. Yeah. We have text messages where I would just text Hassi and say, I think Tiger's dead. And then I think you came home and you visited and you were also kind of like, you know, just like cleaning up the tank a little bit. And you're yeah. like, yeah, Tiger's. But I, I, I like declared it. Yeah. But I didn't do anything about it. Because, you know, there's a little bit of denial in there. And then one day I was just in Cassie's room, you know, chilling, whatever. And I see something move. And I and I hear a little little, yeah, hear little scratch. And I look. And it's time <laughs> risen from the dead. <laughs> What's a hidden talent or skill that your sister might not know about? It might just shine more because you don't like work in like creative fields but i do think that you're very creative you have like an eye for things i think i've always um i really liked art and like the creative side of things like design and stuff like that i just didn't pursue a career in that sometimes i think you're better than me because it just like comes to you more naturally mm -hmm, whereas mm -hmm. i feel like i had to like train my brain or like learn mm. that stuff but like to me it doesn't feel like it came as naturally yeah but also like, the whole point of art is subjective okay nice to me <laughs> I think you're a really good like conversationalist. Oh really? So this past year, basically Cassie would hang out with me and my friends more. And I think in the beginning I was a little bit 
like worry not anxious about it mm-hmm. but just you know you just didn't know how it would go yeah i, I, I wasn't sure like you can carry yourself fine mm-hmm. you know i honestly feel like sometimes it's harder to talk to people my age yeah really everyone's fine. doing something different yeah, after grad yeah, yeah, yeah. but like your friends everyone's working yeah 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 so easy so chill almost to the point where like you don't even need to talk about it and then we're able to like move on from yeah, it after. no one no one talks about work because i'm in like my late 20s now it's the marriage part mm-hmm. like there are people yeah. who are still single there are people who are already married there are people who have kids already um, everyone's milestones are different yeah <laughs> you look like um Luke Skywalker. You have the apron and you have look, the shirt on. You look like Luke Skywalker. You didn't even buy it. Like a Jedi. You know with the lightsaber. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's better. Yeah. <laughs> Last one. Okay, we're gonna clean up. We're gonna put these in the fridge. We're gonna have dinner. And then we'll come back for the decorating. <laughs> Welcome Hello. back. We put these in the fridge to chill for about an hour and then we bake them um, for about 14 to 16 minutes. Now we're going to decorate. So we've got a couple of different toppings here. This is the um, lingonberry. Yeah, lingonberry. And this is the apricot preserve, which is really good. It's really, really good. We tried it, it's yeah. really good. And then we have powdered sugar, which are for the pecan puffs or the snowballs. So we also have some sister trivia that we asked Chad to give us. And Seeing we'll how be, well we know each other. Yeah, each other. So number one, what's your sister's favorite childhood cartoon or TV show? You like Dora. You liked Blue's Clues, right? Or was that me? Oh no, I did like Yeah, oh, no, I no. think you did. Yes, yes. Yeah, did. you did like those. did like those. You liked Barbie movies. The movies. Oh yeah, because I watched a lot of movies on my DVD player. Yeah. Oh no, no, Aquamarine. Uh, that movie I actually rewatched a ton. Some some of the DVDs like because she couldn't read. I would draw little pictures on them so that she like knew what it was. Because she was illiterate <laughs> at the time. <laughs> I'm literate now. What's your sister's go-to? Comfort food or snack? Oreos? I was, my first thought was Oreos. Every night I would have a six pack of Oreos. What? And, and milk. Wait, really? <laughs> six of them? I would sit on the table. Mommy, right? Now I understand why one time when I came home from school, mom was like, we can't buy Oreos anymore. Yours, I think, I don't know. Protein. Now? A protein bar? Yeah, literally now it's, it's a protein, protein bar. bar. I'm always on the hunt for a good protein bar. I really, really, really dislike Oreos bars. bars. Yeah. They're really bad. Cliff bars are also a go-to for me. Cliff bars are more like an energy bar. I it's misleading. I remember when I was in college, I didn't realize that cliff bars were like supposed to be almost like a meal substitute kind yeah. of. I would eat like two of them a day. And That's I, crazy. Yeah. We finished the pecan puffs. Yay! We are gonna start with thumping cookies. Yes. The next question is, what's the first concert or live performance your sister ever attended? Mm-hmm. Which is an easy question. Actually, I know my answer. I don't know if I know your answer. I don't know your answer. I know my Wait, answer. Wait, what? Come on, you know this, you know this. Oh, 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 it was Taylor Swift. Yeah. Red. You know what mine was? What my first concert was? Oh, 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 oh. Gwen Stefani? Yes! We've been going to a lot of concerts this year. After thinking about it, I think that's like a new hobby of mine. Even though I've always really been into music, just mm-hmm. in general, um, I would go to like Broadway shows. because of the Different kind of music. Yeah, different music. We started with a lot of country concerts. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. So we would start going to like more pop concerts. Yes. Oh, oh we saw Blackpink. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun. You did a 10. Oh, you know. <gasps> can only finish that lesson. Wait, why did I skip that one? And then after that, we saw... Classic summer. Name a hobby or activity your sister enjoys that might surprise people. I, mean, I think a fun one would be um, the Cassie dog sits. You know, that's a fun one. You like very like, like frilly, like girly, matchy, yeah. like energy stuff you know like I'm, i am very girly and you pull it off you know what i mean because like you you like it so. 
<laughs> like if I was wearing it, I'd be like upset. <laughs> I'm say another one too. What was it? Oh, it was gonna be about astrology. It's a very mainstream, mm, but like, it's mainstream interest. in the way that like a lot of people just casually talk about it. But I think you like actually know more than the average. Maybe. Mm, I don't know. I feel like some, maybe. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, fact yeah, that you yeah. listen to ast astrological podcast already says it. <laughs> already says enough. Can you recall a song? That your sister was obsessed with growing up. You know what yours is? I know what mine is. Welcome to the Black Parade. <laughs> when I was a young boy. The second song that she loved was um, by Pussycat Dolls. <laughs> and it was Don't you. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? It's because Don't you spoke to my Leo. <laughs> and then Welcome to the Black Parade spoke to my Pisces moon. Strawberry shortcake? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Candy is sweet. <laughs> the fact that you're seeing this, it's a bad voice. cookies now. Oh. Oh, you're right. Should we try one? Yeah, let's try one. These are really crumbly. Yeah, yeah. That's just like the nature of them. Cute. They're not that sweet. Mm -mm. They're only sweet from the coating. Mm -hmm. They're almost a little bit savory. Yeah, I was gonna say, I can like low-key taste the salt. Me too. I actually think it kind of um, emphasizes the nut taste more. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That is not. <laughs> I was following the crap. <laughs> Cheers. The lingonberry isn't even that sweet. Yeah. To, in, it's a little bit more tart. Yeah. yeah. Sugar. Yeah. Alright. Last one. Cheers. 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 Mmm. Mmm, good. Mmm, good. It's good because the sweetness of the apricot is like very first, mm -hmm. very first taste. Mm -hmm. But you end with like more of the cookie, mm -hmm. so it's less sweet. <sighs> Thank you for joining us. Hope you enjoyed listening to our rambles. Come join sisters. Happy holidays and happy new year. Yay! Bye. See you in the next Thanks one. Thanks for watching. We're free. That was like five hours of my life. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? Don't you wish your girlfriend was a freak like me?